Now we're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Where are we going? To the warehouse, probably. Oh, it's the white doors. Is this another warehouse? It looks like it. Just like the one on floor A. There's graffiti on the wall here, too. It's something different, though. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Did... did they make a mistake? Ninth... Uh, that isn't how you spell it. They added that E to ninth, but why? Yeah, that is weird. What does it mean? Well, I think Memento Mori is Latin for something like, remember death or don't forget your mortality. That other part, I mean, I assume it's just what it says on the tin. The tin? Why does it- t uh, you mean like on the wall? Why do they call it a tin? relating to whether or not a lion has eaten the sun? Uh, yeah. I guess that's one way to put it. Fucking who says a conditional? But what on earth does that mean? It just seems like gibberish. Agreed. Whatever it means is beyond me. Yeah, I tried- I tried deciphering it, I couldn't there. figure it out. Doesn't it look just like the one on the other floor? Yeah, but there isn't anything written on this one. Yeah, there's a big nine on the other door. I guess that means this door isn't important. I don't see anything that looks like it might open it either. Yep. Nothing. Not opening. Of course it isn't. I mean, look at this thing. It's solid steel. Well, how do you open it then? From the other side, maybe? The other side? Hey, what's the deal with those doors over there? The ones that are glowing white. Do you think they could be chromatic doors? There are three of them. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. See? They've got those little boxes. These must be the next set of chromatic doors we're supposed to go through. But they're all the same color. Well, for all the other doors, we had to add colors together to make another color. In this case, we probably just have to make white instead. Suddenly, the voice of the announcer echoed through the warehouse. An ambitious. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Theo. What? How the hell did that happen? Someone on one of the other teams must have opened one. All they'd need is one of the moon keys. What? Why would they do that without waiting for the rest of us? We can ask them when we get there. Come on. Let's get a fucking going then. We left out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Temyoji, Dio, and Alice. Hey! What the hell is this? Why did you open one of the AB rooms before the rest of us got back? Alice and I haven't done anything. Dio apparently felt he didn't need to wait. <laughs> you got a problem? Fuck you, ringleader ass motherfucking religious ass nut bitch bitch ass motherfucking braid ass bitch. <laughs> yes! Yes, I do have a problem! Why? I don't remember saying anything about- Can I skip this goddamn- Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense! Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. No sooner were the words out of her mouth. It's a good thing everyone solved oh, their puzzle goodness. at the same time. You're oh. all here. Quark? Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. What? Come on. What happened to Quark? We, we've collapsed. seen this. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. Curses. What? Please, you must hurt. This condition could Let change. Let me skip it. it. <laughs> you should oh, go. No, we've seen this. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Tetmyoji shoved K aside and left through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks and ran off after him. Can I skip from here? Quark. No. Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, come on. We've been through this. Temyoji grabbed Quark's shoulder and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Uh, hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. We've been through this. Oh, there he goes. Finally, she's 
I wish it would tell me that I can skip, as opposed to like having to- I have to shuffle through- In the archives? No, there's just piles and piles of books and paper. Nothing even remotely like medicine there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the garden. Plenty of vegetation, but unfortunately, no medicine. <laughs> we could feed him a tomato. That would make him feel oh, better. Oh god, and he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? The pantry. There was tons of food everywhere, but Excelivir, nothing. Temyoji slumped to the ground. Can I skip this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we get it. This kid has tried to kill himself like multiple times already. Get over it. <laughs> oh, and Alice. Right, we're gonna run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna find her in the bee garden, presumably. <laughs> No one here, huh? Damn, where'd she go? Why does it never let me skip here? No point in complaining. I just need to look somewhere else. I turned and headed towards the exit. It does- it stops here every time. And then I can't skip it. But what's different? So this is the pantry, huh? Alice, Tamyoji, and Dio searched this room. Oh, is this why I can't fucking skip it? It's because it's fucking looking into it. Damn, nothing here either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. Can I skip? God damn it, she loses it like Quirk did and nobody's around to stop her. Mm. Shit, I need to hurry. Let me skip. I decided to try the garden where Five Quirk and Kay had gone after passing through the door. God damn it, just because the names are switched around, I can't fucking skip it even though it's all the same shit. First thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere, and the air filled the fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet, dried tones of dead leaves underfoot. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, and in here it was warm and wet like a forest after a spring rain. Just like Kay said, plants and stuff everywhere. Damn. She's not here either. This is bad. She's not? We've been searching for Alice for a while, and I found nothing. Oh no, she's not here! I hope that nothing had happened to her, but... <gasps> she's not here this time! Where did she go? Did she do it? Is she in the crew... Did we go to the crew quarters? I don't remember. I searched everywhere, on floor B. She was nowhere to be seen. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's different. Things have changed. Why isn't Sigma thinking like she's usually here? This is pointless. I should just get back to floor A. Maybe someone else has found her? I can't believe it. She didn't survive this time. Even though she was doing so well. <laughs> it had been a while before. It, it had been, we had gone th through like the game for a while before like where she didn't die. So that was like refreshing, but also like what happened now. Maybe she won't be dead still. I don't know. Where are we going? They don't even label any of the rooms. So it's like, how are we supposed to figure out where they are until... Oh, she's dead. Or, or maybe she's in, she's we we can get to her before she does the deed. But we've been gone for a while. Doesn't look like anyone's here. I should have a look in the rooms. Coincidentally, two. Ah, dang. Are you the first to find her? Uh, Alice. The first thing I saw when I stepped through the door was the blood- the blossom of red on her chest. It was almost like getting punched. I stopped short, my body refusing to move. No! Why did this happen? I forced one shaking foot forward and the next. My legs began to wobble and I put my hand against the wall to steady myself as my heart thundered in my chest. Calm down. Calm down. This looks pretty bad. But you don't actually know anything yet. Yeah, that's right. Uh, maybe it's not too late. Maybe we could still save her. Then at last I pressed my finger to her neck and those hopes were dashed. It's a nice scalpel you got there, Alice. No pulse. C clearly she wasn't breathing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem somehow inhuman. No! Oh god, it's such a close-up. Embedded in her chest was a scalpel. I was no doctor, but judging by the angle, it looked like it had pierced her heart. Really? That looks like the center of the chest. That's not where your heart is. Had someone stabbed her? 
No. What if she... The... We're all going to die. I'd rather die here! I'd rather die here! As she runs away to another room alone. No! No! I imagine she probably ran away because she saw the cork was being stopped, so she was like, I gotta go somewhere where no one can find me. Something in my brain snapped. <laughs> A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. The last thing I felt was my body slumming to the floor as the world went dark. Oh, he fainted. When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Hold up. Where are we? Question mark. What? Where did Alice go? Oh. Well, we know now, right? She went to the crew quarters. So, what, we have to go back in time on the same route and then... Or do I go here? We know where she went. Do you remember Sigma? Oh, here. Yeah, we're in the lounge, so we're closer to the crew quarters now, right? So we should be able to stop. No one here, huh? Damn, where did she go? Then suddenly the world shifted. There it goes. There it goes, just like that. This is the first time for just an instant. I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled and then... Just as I began to adjust, it was gone. As if nothing had happened. It's the first time we've gone back in the in the same route, but then remembered something. It's dope. What what was that? It was the same sensation I felt when I saw the vision of the bombs exploding. Had it been a premonition? This is bad! I need to find Alice now! But where could she be? Damn it, Alice! Where are you? Uh, well, I'll, well, I was gonna say, like, I, they should have let us cho choose, and they did, but... Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they did. <laughs> what about the crew quarter? Yeah, yeah, that has to be it! No lying down on the job. I set off at a dead run. You know, bitch, you know where to go, because I know where to go, so that means you know where to go, boy! And then we stop her here, I imagine. The moment I entered the crew hallway, I made straight for the door to the number two room. Hell, she'd be in here. I swallowed and threw open the door. Mm. Alice, so you were here. As I spoke, her eyes turned towards mine, but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly, and one of her hands held a scalpel like I'd caught her in the middle of something. What are you doing here? It's okay. I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalpel. No. I need it to get this bracelet off. Huh? Remember what Zero Jr. told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to... Oh! Stop! I was animated. Before I even finished the word, I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, pulling the blade away from her chest. No! Let me go! I have to do this! I can't take it anymore! This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from! The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die! Knock it off! Fucking idiot. With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. It was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. Oh, he cut himself to take the scalpel away, even though the scalpel is clean. I'd apparently cut myself from getting the damn thing away from her. Pretty quickly, it progressed from a dull, dull throbbing to a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. Oh, she lived now. <laughs> I love how they just have her legs tucked in like that. She didn't respond when I shook her. Hey, are you alright? Alice, say something! There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seems she only passed out. Shit! What am I supposed to do now? Oh man, maybe the infirmary? 
It's got all those medical things. Boyd, 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 boyd. Wait, how do you how do you pronounce that word? Boyd. Ah, <laughs> this doesn't sound right. Boyd, boyd, but boyd, but boyd, but but. How do you pronounce this word again? Shit. Boy, but boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy. God, I, I think if I hate a, I, this is, I think this is one of the words I hate in the English language because this is, this word is spelled weird and it sounds weird. Boy, by adrenaline, I hefted Alice's body and took off towards the infirmary. Probably scrap the scalpel with you too if you didn't. All right, please pay attention. You need to hear this. The atom has finished scanning Alice. She has what radical six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her results are identical to Quark's. Can I skip this? She... I can. No mention of my 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 palm. Coming up Sigma, huh? What? What a lucky, lucky man you are. What? Oh. You two are going to be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. Oh, because Clover wanted to stay behind. Okay, I was like, what? That means if she stays here, the two of you are going to be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. After all, you've got six BP right now. <laughs> are you saying I'm going to choose Betray? If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. You bastard. There's no way I'd do that. Is that Yet. so? <laughs> yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the one making the decision. Luna's my partner, and she'll be in the AB room with me. You really think that she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um, well, actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. You, Luna doesn't do shit. She's hella sus. She doesn't See, say anything. Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up! Um... What? If I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? Should all three of you abstain, then you would all be guaranteed to ally, correct? Or just let Luna fucking go. Nope. Doesn't work like that. Why not? Did someone check your fucking hand, Sigma? My dude, you're gonna bleed out or get infected. Here. Take a look at this. I pulled a scrap of paper we found in my pocket. Out of my pocket. Huh? What's this? We found it when we went to the archives. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. Nothing in the garden either. Hmm. I guess they only won't put one in the archives. Whatever. I'll just read it for you. Here are some more big game rules for you. Not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every whole group of three has to vote. Get it? The whole team can't abstain. That means either Dio or Tenmyoji is going to have to vote then. And they're playing against Alice. Oh. Well. I guess playing against is a little generous. So Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks Betray... Uh, knock it off. You trying to get back at me for what I said earlier? No way am I gonna choose Betray. Sure, you're you not do sure. You know our BPs won, right? What do you think would happen to her if I did that? You don't give a shit, you're leaving. <laughs> Died, yeah, whatever. I wouldn't put it past you. What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. I planned to stay here with Quark, just to make sure he was safe. Oh my god, you're gonna but leave? it doesn't her? look like I'm gonna have that luxury. Oh my god! I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're gonna be sharing a room, bucko. I've got my eye on you. Happy now, Sigma? Yeah, thanks. That's a relief. Exactly. Oh man, everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? He's gonna run for it. Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? Oh! Tenmyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh... Well, I mean... Look, it wasn't important. Just forget about it. Ten minutes, blah, blah, blah. Five minutes. Oh, five minutes. I'm sorry, I'm Time's running out, people. Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? 
You're staying too? Yeah. Something does happen. Clover might need a hand. Who's Vi with? Is Vi with Kate? Aren't you a solo? Oh. You're playing against Kay and Quark, but with Quark out, that means Kay would get to decide the whole round. Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Even though I have six BP. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? What happens when he gets nine BP? I'm not worried. Kay won't betray me. <laughs> How can you know that? I just know, I guess. Sing you me. just know? What the fuck is wrong with you? Had something happened between Fi and Kay while they were out exploring? They shared a I kiss? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our team. Good. We're counting on you. <sighs> I've had enough of this bullshit. Four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, yeah. Come on. We need to hurry. Hmm. All right, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. With that, we were off. I was right. Sigma didn't stay like I'm staying behind. Oh, you know what? He can't stay behind because he's us. <laughs> I gave one last quick nod to find Clover before heading back to the warehouse at a dead run. That's why no one even questions it because we have to be the one to vote. Everybody ready? I'm going to open my AB gate. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. Do you already opened one earlier? Then only you and I remain. Right. Okay, let's go. Two more AB gates slid open. We all shared one last look at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. First, this is someone else's route. Whose route was this? I I imagine it seems pretty long, so it has. To, I would imagine it's someone's route, but who knows? Maybe Luna. Anyway. I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. Betraying someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Oh my god, you've been letting it bleed the entire time and no one took notice of it. Huh? There's something white on it. There's what? White? What? What the hell is this? Are we a robot? Bro, first of all. <laughs> so this was a scene that kept pat that like had passed by a few times th throughout like random areas. I don't I don't remember how we saw we came across it, but like it showed up a couple of times and it's like, why is there a scene of sh like Shindy's hand with the with the ejaculation in it, right? <laughs> From that one scene in Evangelion, the anime that I never watched, but I know about that scene. The fucked up scene. <laughs> Didn't take a joke. White. He's a robot or something. Have we ever seen him bleed before? I guess not. What? What? What the hell is this? For the first time since I found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. How have you never looked at your hand? Not once? When you were carrying Alice, you didn't let go of it and look at it? What? Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hand. You're a robot. Ah. Ah. Oh, interesting. It was coming from the cut I'd given myself when I grabbed the scalpel away from Alice. But why? Where was the blood? I felt a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its ha hand around my throat. Quickly, I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you alright? Yeah. 
It's nothing. I went to the pantry when I was looking for Alice. There was some milk and I spilled it. You shouldn't have said milk. You probably should have said like mayo or some shit. <laughs> I sounded even stupider as I said it. Really? No, but I'll need you to believe me. But... Just shut up! It's fine, alright? I'm fine! Leave me alone! I regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth, but something was wrong. Very wrong. And my head was spinning. Sigma... Oh man, I'm so sorry. I just... it's... Just don't worry about it, okay? 30 seconds re- There was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. Calm down. Just calm down. You need to think about the AB game right now. Just forget about your hand. Who was I kidding? There was no way I could forget about something like that. Ten seconds remain. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna feel like poo poo when round I have a betray. Two. Results, thank you. And Assuming the betray is the shorter route. Because I assume that we're either gonna get out or someone's gonna stop us, as always. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of the rooms as we did. So you chose Ally after all. Haha, <laughs> what happened to your hand? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing. The mysterious white liquid. Do you want to go see the results? They really shouldn't have made it white. They should have made it like a different color or something. Cause it's just like unless they they intentionally wanted us to think it's like something else, you know? <laughs> sure. Luna nodded and walked off towards the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. Maybe you should clean off the stuff, man. Rub it on your pants or rub it in your pockets or something. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out, since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit of my hand. It's been bleeding for so long! How has nobody noticed it? And how do you not have more on your hand? What the hell is this? It couldn't be blood. Could it? No. That was impossible. No matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. And I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of my life, I didn't see my... I've seen my body but what I've seen my body bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid, accidental nicks with a knife as an adult. But every single time, I'd bled red like any other human being. So why was it that this time it was white? What the hell is happening to me? You need more iron in your blood. <laughs> hey, Sigma, what are you doing? Get the hell over here. Shut You're up. gonna show the results. Shut up. You don't care about what I think. Yeah. Right. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and head over to join the others. Results, please. Hey. Hey, look at that. We all allied. We're all friends here. That's nice. I like that. Points have been assigned. Or please. Okay. This is incredible. Look, everyone voted ally. You did just like you promised, Kay. How could I choose betray after what Phi said to me? Ten Miyoji and Dio voted ally too. Of course. If we hadn't, Alice would have died. Yeah, well. That's about it, I guess. We should thank the both of you as well. I'm happy to see you also chose Ally. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. That was all Sigma. Cause you're... God, thank you're you so sus. Thank you very much, Sigma. Thank you very much, me. I can't get over the fact that it's supposed to be Sigma, but there's no hint of anything of the sort. Like, it Sigma? just seems so random, like... Sigma, are you alright? Come on, what's wrong? Just say something. Wait. Yeah, we're in the long one, okay. Huh? Oh, yeah. 
Um, uh, looks like we all allied. <laughs> Th that's great. Sigma, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, you've been acting a little out of it ever since we came out of the AB rooms. What happened? You make it pass at Luna and get shot down? No, nothing like that. Hey man, it was a joke. You remember what that is? A joke? You're in pretty bad shape, huh? Before Dio could continue, the heavy metal rumble of the door shutting echoed through the warehouse. The amp round yep, stop yep, 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 yep. We can open the gates as many times as we want to. Then, that means... We can play the AB game as many times as we like, right? Hey, Zero Junior said something about this. Yeah, yeah, colors change, the numbers change, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Right. Sorry to be a pain, but uh, could you all show me your bracelets? I want to see what all your colors and assignments are. Everyone nodded and held their arms out towards them. I stared at them, terrified to follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion. So I held my arm out, hand tightened into a white-knuckled fist to hide the cut. When their eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. So Dio and Kay are a yellow pair. Luna and I are both pairs, but our colors are different. Right. You're a cyan, and I'm magenta. That makes Sigma the only solo, huh? A red solo. So what are the four we left in the infirmary? Luna and I are pairs, so two of them are our partners. That means the other two are solos. Although, I guess we don't know what colors they are. They're probably green and blue. Why is that? Didn't you see them? There are a bunch of white doors in the Floor B warehouse. They have to be the next set of chromatic doors. Ah, yes. Fine, I saw them as well. On our way back from the garden with the unconscious Quark. And there they were. Each one had a box just like the doors on floor A. Given that, I don't see how there can be any question. Those white doors are our next set of chromatic doors. I think that our bracelet combinations will have to add up to white in order to open the secondary doors. The pairs are cyan, magenta, and yellow. You see? Yeah. If we need to make white, then the other three colors would have to be red, green, and blue. Right. This, I still feel like this sort of information shouldn't be known off the top of your head like this. Nobody knows the colors in this Good. kind of order. We were we grew up with paint. <laughs> not, well, I was gonna say not light, but like, I guess we did technically grow up with light, but no one's learning that fucking primary colors and fucking, we're not learning the light primary colors. We're learning the paint primary colors, whatever the fuck you call it. I don't know, whatever. I don't care. Now that we've got that figured out, I'm heading back to the infirmary for a bit. I want to check up on Quark and Alice. I shall accompany you then. Might as well go with you, I guess. No real reason to hang out here. Well, what will you two do? I... I need to talk to Sigma about something. About what? Something. Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something... wrong... with me. That was when she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. Okay, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Whoa, hold on. A private talk? What are you guys plotting? We're not plotting anything. I promise. It's nothing. <laughs> Fine, whatever. See if I care. Theo tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest and marched out the yellow door. Temyoja and Kay quickly followed. In only moments, all three had disappeared. So, uh, what was it you wanted to talk about? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act as if I was genuinely confused. Oh, um, I don't really like this room. Could we go somewhere else? Um, okay. Good. I found somewhere nice when I was looking for Alice earlier. As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. 
I kept my mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed off. This is the Luna route. Oh, garden. The garden? You know this place? Yes. Well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for Alice. Oh, I see. So, uh, what brings you here? Isn't this nice? This is the only place in the whole facility with anything green. I feel kind of silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. Oh, there's a bench over there. Would you like to sit down with me? She sat down softly and gently, and I lowered myself down next to her. Wow, her hair looks so raggedy on the side. <laughs> so, what do you want to talk to me about? Instead of answering, Luna lifted the tiny birdcage pen that she wore into the palm of her hand. She was silent for a moment, and then began to talk. Can I tell you something? This is actually a music box. A word? Really? Yes. She twisted the key on the bottom and made it almost imperceptible winding noise. Oh, what? whatever. When she released it, soft, clear notes drifted out. It's a nice song. Why'd you bring that up, though? Because I... wanted you to know, I guess. I wanted you to know more about me. Maybe it's because I'm so shy, but I don't really have any friends. Or even any acquaintances, really. So I've sort of always been alone. It was really hard. I felt so lonely a lot of the time. And it... it hurt. It felt like I was just kind of going to... collapse from the inside out. That was when I got this music box. Someone very important gave it to me. They didn't say anything, but I felt like there was an unspoken message behind it. Luna, happiness is closer than you think. Do you know Materlink's The Bluebird? No. Y yeah I don't. Well, I know the gist of it. I think it started on Christmas Eve. This brother and sister named Till Till and My Till, unfortunate names, get asked to find a blue bird by this old woman, and they travel to the dream world. Or something. Anyway, supposedly if you catch this bird, then you can make any wish come true. So they visit all these different places, but they can't find it. Eventually, they give up and go home, but when they wake up, the bird is in a birdcage in their hut. That's right. It's a well-known story. Uh, is it? I've never heard of it. <laughs> it teaches a simple lesson. Go to sleep. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Yeah, like you said, happiness is closer than you think. Right. It got me thinking. Maybe the person who gave me this music box was trying to tell me just that. I don't know if that's true. Maybe all of this is just in my head, but I really felt like that was what they meant. It was so... kind. I kept it with me all the time, like a kind of good luck charm. But... One day I realized something. There was another meaning to the bluebird. In Materling's original story, it doesn't end with them waking up. There's more? Yes. When Tiltil and Mittil try to feed the bird, it leaves the cage and flies away. And then the story ends. Whoa. Well, what about the moral then? It changes. Now the message is that just when you think you found happiness, you'll lose it again. I thought about that for a while, but in the end, it didn't change how I felt. I don't know what they intended it to mean when they gave it to me, but I decided how I was going to look at it. It means that happiness is something you should always be looking for. And it's only when you're pursuing happiness that you're truly happy. Jesus, how long did you wind this thing up? It plays for so long. 
Oh, stop. You know, Sigma, I think you might be Tiltil. <laughs> the fuck did you call me? <laughs> what? You know, the boy who the old lady asked to find the bluebird on Christmas Eve. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Can I ask you something? Um, sure. Where did you find Alice? What does that have to do with anything? Just answer me. Where did you find Alice? Room 2, in the crew quarters. Where were you before that? I was in the lounge. That was after we split up to go look for Alice. The first place I went was the lounge. So you went from the lounge to the crew quarters, where you found Alice. And then you rushed her to the infirmary, right? Y yeah Okay, tell me this then. How do you know about the garden? Uh, 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 uh oh, 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 we're not supposed to know about this. Oops. Didn't you? Oops. Oops, 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 oops. That doops. doesn't make any sense. Oops, you blew a sigma, oops. There wouldn't have been any time for you to visit the garden while you were looking for Alice. Oh, she got us. So oops. tell me, Sigma. Oops, oops, oops. How do you know about this place? <gasps> oops. Well, um, I didn't know what to say. I couldn't even explain it to myself. Why had I told her I knew about the garden? Why had I told her I'd been here before? Sigma, are you... Are you a robot? Have you always been here? Uh, what? See, it would make so much sense if you were. That would explain why you knew about the garden and... And it would explain that cut on your left hand. Damn. So you did see it, huh? Of course. She... Did, she she's the one who brought it, brought, pointed it out to you, yes. dumbass! I've been told that robots these days have what's called artificial biological tissue, or ABT, on top of a metal skeleton. It makes them look almost exactly like a human. And ABT uses this white liquid instead of blood. Should have made it hot pink. For some reason, when Luna had called me a robot, it hadn't really phased me. Maybe because it was just so... out there. It didn't sound like a real possibility. It sounded more like a theory you'd get from someone in a nut house. Still... My hand was still oozing white liquid. Was I really a robot? No! That was impossible! I needed to stop doing that. Questioning myself so much she was giving me heart palpitations. Luna, aren't you a little scared? Scared? Why would I be scared? Well, let's say I am a robot. That means there's a pretty good chance Zero's pulling my strings. That would make me your enemy. Oh, I guess so. Well, even if you were, I wouldn't be scared. Why not? Hmm. Maybe because you're a robot. Huh? Have you ever heard of the Three Laws of Robotics? They were a set of rules created by the science fiction author Isaac Asimov that he used in several of his stories. Oh my god, Gollum! Oh, it's been so long. Wait, are you what are you that metal skeleton that they would use to put on ABT? Oh, I don't know, whatever. Rule one. A robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Rule 2. A robot must obey in any orders given to it by human beings, except when such orders would conflict with the first law. Rule 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Oh yeah, I've heard those before. That's just an ideal though. You could work towards that, but I don't think you'd ever actually achieve it. I mean, depending on how you program them, robots could do pretty much whatever you, they want to. Yes, you're right. But I believe in them. In you. However you're programmed, I don't think you'd break any of the three laws. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. That's not you. You have a heart. You're a good person. It's in your eyes. Well... I guess I'm just kind of assuming you're a robot. There's still a chance you're not. We should run some tests. 
Tess. Yes. Uh, how? Well, the Atom should be able to tell us. Oh yeah, that thing in the infirmary. I heard the crunch of dried leaves behind us. Dio? But when I turned, there was nothing. Who is it? Is... is someone there? Is Dio. Just me. Oh, it's not Dio. Oh, good. Fine. Sorry, but can you guys come over here? I need you to see something. Is bomb. I assume. Luna and I looked at one another, shrugged, and stepped into the bushes. Welcome. What? How long have you been here? I just got here a little while ago. Did you... hear what we were saying? No. Were you talking about something you didn't want me to know about? Whatever. Just have a look at this. I followed a line on her finger. This isn't a bush, this is a tree! Shit! This... this is... An antimatter bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. It says one. And the one in the crew quarters said three, right? Then that must mean... Shit. Then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere? I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Damn it. That means we're dealing with a combined explosive power equal to three tons of TNT. Yeah. Who planted them? Was it you guys? I mean, you've been in here quite a while. Hey, don't give me that. You're way more suspicious than we are. What were you doing in the bushes anyway? Well, uh... I was... Taking a walk. Taking a walk? You really think I'm gonna buy that? Fine. You got me. I heard you two were off talking in secret. So I got curious and went back to the Floor A warehouse. Of course you weren't there. That seemed pretty suspicious to me, so I headed here. And just as I'd suspected, there you were, talking on the bench. I snuck up from behind so you wouldn't notice me. Then... Just as I was getting close enough to hear, I found the bomb. So, believe me now. So, who planted the bomb? Honestly, it could have been any one of us. Anybody could have come here while we were all looking for Alice. We need to tell everyone about this then. Yeah, you're right. Let's head back to the infirmary. Hmm. Everyone else was already there when we arrived. Clover and Temyoji. Kay and Dio. And of course, Alice and Quark. Both seemed to be sleeping peacefully. You'd never think to look at them. You'd never think to look at them. They'd be completely... Th what? You'd never think to look at them. That they... You'd never think to look at them that they'd been completely insane not so long ago. That doesn't sound right in my head, but whatever. Alright, everybody. Listen up. I told them how we found the number one bomb in the garden. And how, judging by the numbering on the two bombs we found so far, there was probably a number two bomb out there somewhere, too. In the control room, but... Oh, this is bad. I don't know the password what are we going yet! To do? Well, I think Alice mentioned something. There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Oh, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Yeah. That's why I want all of you to let me search you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Chances are whoever planted those bombs is in this room. There's also a good chance they've also got the device we need to deactivate the bombs. So you're planning to search us for it? Where was the device again? 
Was it in the control room? Exactly. I don't remember. I think it was the control room. I don't remember who was there. I'm, I'm guessing because she's saying search, it's probably Dio that has but... it. No buts. If you refuse, then I'll assume it's because you've got it and you planted the bombs. Unless you want that, I suggest you cooperate. Clear? Good. Now who's going to be first? Hmm? Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I... I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Is this the same... It is. Huh. Alright. Pippo, pippo, pippo. Who set up the bomb? Part one. Another achievement, huh? One second. Okay, we still got some bits to go. All right. Go, 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 go! How do we stop them? Wait, there wasn't even any talk about the. Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. I'll give you one since I'm such a swell guy. Are you gonna the give me a call? Password for bomb number two is. <laughs> Wait, where's my post-it note? <laughs> EQD, DYR, NTK. DYR, EQD, DYR, NTK. All right, you're fucked, Dio. Bomb number two. But we haven't found that one yet. Uh oh, oh, well, my mistake. It's okay, I know where Must it is. Must have slipped my mind. Well, there's nothing you could do anyway. I just need the device. Don't have the input device. Really, it'll be much easier if you all just give up. Where's the input device? Oh gosh, I wonder. Is it on him? Where did you put the number two bomb? Shoot, you know, I, I just can't remember. I know where the two bomb is. Where the fuck is it? The, you son of a bitch. Anyway, I think it's time for me to be moving on. I guess this is not the route where we defuse the bombs. To where? What? I have to explain everything. To the next world, of course. No! Wait! I threw myself towards Dio and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming to the floor. He struggled, but I put all my weight on it and kept his arms pinned. He's trying to eat the pill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's fine. We get this. How much time do we have left? About 20 minutes or so, I think. Oh, whoa! We we're, we have way less time. And how much time until the white doors open? We're down five minutes. The same. So, what do we do? We put in those passwords to stop the bomb. We search Dio, but he doesn't have anything that might be the input device. Oh. Uh, hmm. Well, only one thing to do then. And that is? We split up and find it. Unless any of you have any other suggestions. A dismal silence filled the room. Even though no one spoke, I could see despair on every face. All right. No point sitting around. Until those things actually go off, we've still got a chance. Sigma, you come with me. We're going to have to go look at the number three bomb. See if the timer really has started or not. Right. All the rest of you, listen up. I want you to take Alice, Quark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. What? Why there? Just listen. Worst case scenario. We'll open the white doors and go through them to... wherever they go. Maybe we'll get lucky. Understood. We will take them to the Floor B warehouse. Once we've done so, we will begin to search for the input device in the number two bomb. Good. Thanks. Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. I turned without waiting and headed for the door. Before I could blink, she was gone. I gave everyone else in the infirmary a quick thumbs up and a shaky smile and then hurried after her. Oh, we didn't even say anything to them that time. Interesting. <laughs> so we're going in here without the device. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine we're not gonna be able to defuse the bombs in this route. I'm just wondering, I, cause I just assumed this was Luna's route, but we're not with her, so.
Hmm. Okay. The light's flashing. I guess the countdown has started. So, what are we going to do? Without a way to enter the passwords, we're screwed. Right. We'll just have to split up and look for it. I'll look around here. You go check somewhere else. <laughs> okay. If we get to T minus five minutes, then we'll meet back in the floor B warehouse. And then we'll all die together. Got it? Yes. I wasn't sure what to say. If we hadn't found it by then, was there really any point in meeting up again? What's with that look? Don't worry. We'll figure it out, I promise. You know what they say. Swimsuits never quit. <laughs> what? No! That's a- That's not a thing! <laughs> and that doesn't make any sense! Besides, why the hell are you cracking jokes right now? I'm just, um... Trying to show you that life is still worth living. After all, if you quit now, there goes any possibility of you ever seeing me in a swimsuit. What? This is so uncalled for a fire. You don't need to- Oh, I see. Well, I admit I am a bit curious. All right. Sigma. <laughs> Looks like we're on the same page. They get moving. We don't have time to stand around. Fine. Be careful, all right? I checked the time on my bracelet as I headed out the crew quarters and into the hallway. It wasn't good news. Damn. Only 15 minutes. I need to hurry. I broke into a run. I don't remember who went to the control room. It must have been Dio, because he probably must have taken it- He must have tossed the fucking- Before long, I found myself in front of the infirmary. All too often, what you're looking for is right in front of you. <gasps> Are you gonna scan yourself with the atom? We spent a lot of time in the infirmary, so it seemed kind of fitting somehow that it might- Might have been there all along. Or maybe Dio had dropped it there recently? There's no way to know. And in any event, I had to start looking somewhere. You just scan- You scan yourself with the atom? Oh my god, we're gonna find out that we're robots! This out. I wonder if this has this plays into how we. S no. Oh, oh, Luna, you're still here. Yes, the others are taking the people who are asleep to the white doors. I chose to stay here. I thought you might come back. Oh shit! Oh, this is how we fucking get the Luna route. How they end the Luna route. <laughs> Give Papa a hug. Why? Because the atom is here. I thought you might want to use it. Isn't that why you're here? Oh, what? I mean, yeah, I want to know what's going on with me. It's driving me nuts. Hell, I feel sick. But this isn't the time for that. Being a robot isn't gonna mean a lot if I die anyway. Oh, why did you come here then? Is that obvious? I'm trying to find the input thing so we can turn off the bombs. Really? Yes. Why would I lie? I see. I seem to have made a mistake. Wait, girl, I knew no. you couldn't use the atom without me. So I stayed behind because I thought I might be able to help. Girl! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Why do, why do we need you? Why can't I just do it myself? It's just a scanning thing, right? Goodbye. Bye. She turned and headed towards the exit. <laughs> Look at her walk so slow. I mean, hear her walk so slow. <laughs> uh, wait. I couldn't just let her leave like that. I sighed. How long would it take? Not more than five minutes or so. That's too much time! Do it like in one! Are you sure? Only five minutes? Do yes. it in one minute, or else I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Analyze my body. Oh my god. Why do we need her to do this? She's just literally scanning a fucking... I laid down on the table. Luna picked up the atom scanner and began to run it across me, slowly and methodically. In a few minutes, she was finished. That's it. You can get up now. I sat up and hopped off the table. The screen was already starting to show my results. So, what does it say? My eyes were glued to her face looking for any sign of what the answer might be. She studied the readout for several long seconds before replying. Well... It says you're not a robot. Oh! What?! Is my hand fake? You're human. Dope. 
I let out a breath I hadn't realized I'd been holding. My relief didn't last long. But your body isn't entirely human. What? You're part machine. That's how we save us, you bitch! Our arm is fake! Wait, what are you saying? Look here. The structure of the bones are fake. in your arms isn't anything close to human. <gasps> we pull, we're gonna pull up our fucking arms! They're made out of a titanium That's what I'm talking alloy. about, Sigma! <laughs> On top of that skeleton is artificial biological tissue. It's also called ABT. Your arms are cybernetic. Nice. What? What does that mean? Cybernetic? It means a mechanical system that interfaces with a biological one. You see all these root-like things around the titanium bones? Those are artificial nerves. They're probably connected to your own nerves, which is how you can move your arms. I imagine they allow you to feel things through your arms too. Ooh, that's gonna hurt when we pull our arms off then, huh? What? No! This is ridiculous! I think replacing my arms with robot ones is something I'd remember. And I know that they weren't always like this. When I was a kid, I broke my arm and they took an x-ray of it. The doctor told me I had really thick bones and that I must have done something pretty insane to break them. When the hell did this happen? Why did someone replace my arms? Wait. Okay, let's say you're right and my arms are cybernetic. Wouldn't that mean I don't have to worry about the bracelet going off? No. Unfortunately, you probably do still have to worry about that. Why? The cybernetic arms are made to function just like real arms, which means they interface with the rest of your body, which means that anything injected into them is spread to the rest of your body. How do you know that? I just do. That's not an answer. Yes, you're right. But not everything has an answer. There are some things you just can't explain. What? Don't you know how that feels? How did you know about the garden? How did you know that Dio planted the bombs? Uh, that's a... uh... I'm sorry, Sigma. I wish we could talk some more, but our time is up. Time? I pressed the buttons on my bracelet and felt my stomach drop. Oh. One minute. We've only got a minute left. Sigma, there's one last thing. I was given very specific instructions. I shuddered. Not because I was scared of what was about to happen. Because I was scared of Luna. She was calm, unnaturally so. Like a machine with a human face. We were about to die. How could she be so calm? Please pay attention. This is very important. You must be sure to remember it. Do I have to write something down, bitch? Hold up. I'm not inventing your text yet. Hold up. Okay. Remember? I was about to die. How was I supposed to remember anything? Should you encounter a two-headed lion devouring the sun, remember, GTF DM L 016 016 GTF DML 016 Got With it. this key, the first gate shall be open to you. There you go. So Milkavoli? I hope we can meet again someday. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. What? Before she could answer. I knew there was something with her, but it doesn't sound like she's sus? The world exploded into noise and light, and I disappeared along with it when I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. Okay, so where was the one Milkavoli? GTF... What was it? GTF DML? DML016 what is the LX8 QNS GDQ? I, it, um... Is Milkavoli... Milkavoli was the second gate one, right? Shit. I can't remember what the... the, the... What's this LX8... What's the one that Dio gave us? What's LX8 QNS GDQ? Sigma! That was our ending! <gasps> I didn't think we'd get an ending! Or rather, I thought our ending would be the true ending?
Uh, what? Wait a minute, Sigma looks- we look a lot like Temyoji, don't we? That's awfully sus. <laughs> that seems awfully sus. <laughs> We're even wearing a blue shirt. <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, well... So we can do this. Yeah, boy. Uh, but before we do that, we have to- we have to betray, uh, Clover. So let's go do that. Luna's gonna be like, the fuck, dog? The fuck did you do? So what's Sigma gonna do? Oops. Oh, I can skip this. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see others filing out of the room as we, they did, as we did. Don't worry, fam. I didn't have an answer for her. All I could think about was that white liquid. What was it? Some kind of discharge? Blood? No, it couldn't be blood. Blood wasn't white. That was insane. I was low. I was lost in thought when Luna spoke. Um, I'm going to the infirmary. Huh? Don't you want to see the results? Why? I already know what they're going to be. Her usual warm personality seemed to have gone cold. Whether it was because I'd chosen Betray or because she noticed that something was wrong with my body, I couldn't say. Excuse me. And with that, she was gone. Now we'll never hear her music box go tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> tinkle. I turned back to the projection. With heavy steps, I headed towards K, Dio, and Temyoji. Result, please. What you should have done is stood by the nine four. <laughs> that was the saddest little box of heads I had seen. Ali, 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 Ali. Betray! Ali. It was nice knowing everyone. I'll see you guys around. Take care. Points, please. What the hell? Sigma has 9 BP? See? I told you! The bastard's finally showing his true colors. What the hell are you doing? Clover isn't even voting! I have misjudged you. I have misjudged you, me. <laughs> I never thought you would do something so cowardly. There was nothing I'd say. I had chosen Betray of my own volition. But... Had I really? Had I really pressed that button of my own free will? Oh, don't call me out, bro. The more I thought about it, the more I felt as if some other force had guided my hand to the button. Don't, don't call me out. I've already had enough of this one. Uh, 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 well, I won't go into the specifics, but I don't want to. <laughs> I should probably bleep that, actually. I don't want to spoil things. I had enough of this type of shit. Perhaps that had been fear? I was scared by the white fluid that appeared on my palm. Maybe that had been the tipping point. And I had decided that I had to escape as soon as possible. Damn the consequences. If I got out, then a nightmare would be over. That's all it was, right? A nightmare? It couldn't be real. White blood was insane. Impossible. That was when I looked up and saw the other staring at my hand. Shit! Dude, did you like fucking like ejaculate in the room? That's gross. I quickly put my hand behind my back and it was already too late. They moved toward me like wolves closing in for the kill. S Sigma? What was that? He was cut. It must have been blood. But why was it white? Isn't that obvious? He's not human. Not human? No. What are you saying? Of course I'm human. I'm 100% human. Then explain that white stuff. I just, I fucking just, I, can you imagine? Oh my god, if you said that. I mean, at least they would be like repulsed by it and they wouldn't question it, but also like, <laughs> I swear to god, I have no idea what it is. You have to believe me. I'm afraid you're not being very convincing. Oh, you're one to talk? We can't even see you! You could be a robot! Maybe that's not even a suit, and that's just you! Robot you! No, that seems extremely unlikely. However bad my amnesia might be, I am quite sure of my humanity. I am, without a doubt, not a robot. Just take off your head. 
Or take off your mask. It will be a real shock. They probably just programmed you to think that. All right. It's pretty obvious this guy's dangerous and probably unhinged. We should take him down. I agree. Oh! Looks like there's no other way. I, did, I, did, I think it's crazy that fucking... All these people were like, K is sus. He's a robot. Oh, Sigma has white liquid on his hand that could easily become... Wow, he's, he's now evil. Now he's got 9 BP from stabbing Clover in the back, there's a good chance he'll try and get out of here by himself. I love that Sigma never gets to go. <laughs> hey, hold on a minute. Let's not do anything rash. <laughs> Ooh, goodbye. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I spun around and ran for the number nine door. No, I don't think so. Shit! Let go! Let go of me! I was no match for all three of them. Before I could take two steps, I was on the floor pinned. The desperation was only getting stronger, however, and I writhed and twisted in a futile attempt to get free. God damn it! You have to let me go! This is all some kind of mistake! A misunderstanding! It's... it's a conspiracy! <laughs> so, there's a conspiracy to turn your blood white? You're a funny guy. Stop trying to get away. It's over. Shit! Get off of me! Let me go! If you won't calm down, then you leave me no choice. I'd hoped we could avoid this. Try not to struggle too much. No! Don't! What did he do? Oh, is he choking me? I don't know what he did. Kind of sound like he pulled something, but... Where are we? Infirmary? The first thing I felt when I woke up was the hard pain of a bruise all the way across my neck. Kay must have suffocated me. My head felt like it had been stuffed with cotton, and I had to put, my, put out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. Where am I? There's an injection gun on the floor. Is this the infirmary? I can't believe we're a soul. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised it didn't end. How long I had been out. My foot bumped into something. And I looked down to see the injection gun. What? Oh, well. It's empty. A glass vial labeled soap roll was still attached to it. The anesthetic. After choking me, they made sure I wasn't getting up in the near future. That meant I could have been asleep for a long time. Oh, that was shot on us. Where is everyone? I glanced around the room. It was empty, except for me. It took me a moment to realize what was especially odd about that. Even Quark and Alice had disappeared. What the hell's going on? That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that had disappeared. Two other things, two other very important things were also gone. My bracelet and my left hand. They cut our hand off for a long moment. I just stared, dumbstruck. What I was seeing couldn't possibly be real. But there it was, a smooth cross-section of my arm, where a hand should have been. A thick white liquid dripping slowly from the stump. What? What is this? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. Then after that, nothing. Ah, uh, well, good news! You know that you can live with your arm off! Time to cut your arm off! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay, well, I'm surprised that... You know, I'm surprised that we were able to go through that, um... I, I was surprised that this unlocked it before we even got to see that ending. Because how else would you know that cutting off your arm would you you would survive from that right because in this route when we learned about the arm thing luna said that there's she says something about oh you know if the whatever it doesn't matter let's fucking go let's go let's save ourselves dude